I've been on the streets for on and off for for, for a good while. Uh, I've been homeless on and off since I was 16 and I'm 44 now. It can be scary. You know, it can be scary. It's frightening seeing on the streets. Um, it's quite violent on the street. Um, people steal from their own. People will prey on people who are weaker than them. I used to ride the buses during the night time because I felt that was safer than actually bedding down on the, on the cold pavement. You'd get off, you'd get on the next bus and come back the same, and you would do that all night. Somebody gave me an old van, stayed in that for like maybe two years. Eventually it got towed away, kind of basically left me with nothing again. By the time you got into deep sleep, you'd have to be waking up because the bus has arrived at its destination and you have to get off. That was just in the height of dark, dark times. Because I didn't want to be well. I didn't like the person I was when I was there. You have to think about where you're going to sleep because I've got a phobia against rats. <laughs> rats, mice, uncomfortable. A couple of nights ago, a fox stole my mate's shoes. Yeah, straight up, honest to God. He came in and he took one of me. I seen him run around the corner with this white thing in his mouth and he's just stolen my mate's shoes. He got no shoes in the morning. Gone to sleep and I've woken up. There's snow all around me and everything I'm sleeping in is wet. The worst probably is the rain. I can deal with the cold because you can always put more clothes on. But when it's raining and you're wet and then you've got to try to get to sleep in a wet sleeping bag and you're wet through, it's just impossible. So therefore your health goes and you start missing appointments because you're tired and you just can't get, you just forget it because your mind just goes to mush, really. If it's windy and rainy and you don't want to pull the face in where the wind's, wind and rain's coming in at you, you've got to figure out what position is the best place. If it's not suitable, you're going to get drenched in, in the rain and everything's going to get wet and then you'll get ill. If you go hiding down in like a side street where nobody sees you and anything, that's far more dangerous than sleeping wide out in the open. Put them into a false sense of security, I suppose. They think, oh, I tuck myself away down there, but if something happens to them, there's nobody there to stop it. No work, have no fixed accommodation. Lugging all your personal belongings around with you all the time, that can be difficult. Feeling a little bit of a failure that you couldn't actually get out of the cycle, the, the rut. It would bring you down, really down. I know you were at rock bottom already. And everyone's officially saying no to you. Worthless, useless, self, you lose all your sort of like self respect. I love animals, but um, not rats. It was really hard for me when I was out there. And you've got to find somehow shelter, and if you can, and, and then you may get moved on by the people that don't want your sort of people there, but you're still a person. Um, well, if people see you. Sleeping on the streets, they think you're the lowest of the lows, aren't they? Mostly people walk by and ignore as though you're not there, you're invisible. Get a job or get a life or... Majority of us had a life. Most of us had somewhere to live, a job. We had a normal life, like everybody else sort of thing. But just a few twists and turns. They don't see why you've got onto the street. It's just you are there, so then you must be bad. People seen you in a doorway sleeping, yeah, and some point, sometimes that person will come up and urinate on you. That's what living on the street is like. Some guys who were drunk poured all alcohol on him and set him alight on his sleeping bag. He was burnt to death in the, in the uh, actual in the actual corridor he was sleeping in. I went to university, I've got two degrees, I'm not uneducated. Just because I live on the street doesn't mean to say I'm any less intelligent or any less than anybody else but they automatically think that. Lost my job, the landlord was selling a flat, had to get out, and then this since then, basically, I've ended up on the street. I was a heroin and a drug addict, a heroin and crack addict, and also, I was an alcoholic. I blocked most of my, most of, a lot of my street life out uh, through alcohol. That's what I did. I was, I was kind of in a different world. I was kind of punishing myself. I kind of, I was, I was struggling, I was suffering, and the drugs was eating all the pain. You just become trapped. Because yeah. as a homeless person, it's hard to get anything, basically. I've got an education and training facility in the passage that I've used quite a lot to apply for work and get re-educated. They've been very patient. 51-year-old who's not used a computer a great deal. 
Yeah, the passage has really helped me to get my life back on track. And I'd really like to say thank you. And they've got some brilliant staff and I love them. They do really, really make a difference. They gave me all the advice and I took the heat and I followed and it worked. <laughs> my needs were mental health, drugs, alcohol. The passage helped me move away from that sin and help me get to where I am now. The Passage know where to go for help, so when they come to them, they can lead and point them in the right direction to get them the help that they need, doesn't matter what it is, if it's mental health or they got drug problems or housing problems, they know where to go, so. You've been on the streets and people at night have been ignoring you as though you're not there. And the Passage, it's the opposite. You're important, you're worth talking to, your story is worth listening to. Your lame jokes are even worth laughing at. Um, I've got my lunch, my breakfast there, my lunch there, showers, uh, my laundry done. It's like a meeting place, it becomes like your, your family. The passage, yeah, they've uh, helped me get into adult education so I can re restudy for my GCSEs. You can get into medical services, you can get your help with doctors or whatever health problems you've got. It gives you a chance of getting back into employment. They're helping somebody change their life, maybe get their life back. If I hadn't met the passage, I won't be here today. If I hadn't been put in touch with the passage, I'd have been probably dead by now. That's how bad I was. I'd still be out on the streets. Or I'd probably be in prison. Now, things are, for me, feel like they're on the, on the up. I found myself again, I've got my self-esteem back. Now that I'm working, I feel like I'm kind of part of a community, a working community, but I've got now friends who actually care about me and like me as a person, so I feel actually my soul, my very being is of value, uh, where it wasn't, didn't feel like that when I was on the streets. I'm a lot happier, I'm uh, a lot more content in my life. Um... I get in in the evening, I cook myself something to eat, I watch a bit of telly and I go to sleep. I'm back in contact, contact with my family. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm happy now.